Hello, thank you for visiting Law Candy. Here is a list of 10 massive lawsuit verdicts in the United States. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Number 10. The $206 Billion Tobacco Industry Master Settlement Agreement. On November 23, 1998 the Tobacco Master Settlement Agreement was entered into between the four largest United States tobacco companies, Philip Morris Inc., R.J. Reynolds, Brown & Williamson and Larillard, referred to as the majors, and the Attorney General of 46 states. The tobacco companies agreed to pay a minimum of $206 billion over the first 25 years of the agreement so that the states could settle their Medicaid lawsuits against the tobacco industry for recovery of their tobacco-related health care costs. The settlement also dissolved the tobacco industry groups called the Tobacco Institute, the Center for Indoor Air Research, and the Council for Tobacco Research. The tobacco companies agreed to limit or cease certain tobacco marketing practices, as well as to pay various annual payments to the states to compensate them for some of the medical costs of caring for persons with smoking-related illnesses. The money also funds a new anti-smoking advocacy group, called the Truth Initiative, which is responsible for such campaigns as Truth and maintains a public archive of documents resulting from the cases. Number 9. $150 Billion Burn Victim Case in Texas in 2011, a Texas jury awarded a record $150 billion in punitive damages to the parents and estate of Robert Ray Robbie Middleton, who was set on fire when he was eight years old two weeks after he was allegedly sexually assaulted by the same person. The child suffered burns on over 90% of his body and later succumbed to skin cancer his family attributed to his burns. Though nothing will remedy this horrific event, the family was awarded $150 billion in damages to assist in their suffering. Number 8. $8 billion Janssen Pharmaceuticals Inc. Award in Pennsylvania. Nicholas Murray took the antipsychotic drug, Risperdal, since 2003 to treat schizophrenia. He began to develop signs of gynecomastia, the growth of breast tissue in men. The lawsuit involved the drug company's failure to warn of this side effect. He was previously awarded $680,000 in compensatory damages. In 2019 his $8 billion judgment was later reduced to $6.8 million by a Pennsylvania judge. Number 7. $4.9 billion General Motors case. In 1999, the Anderson family was awarded $4.9 billion after their General Motors vehicle caught fire and exploded. Patricia Anderson, her four children, and Joe Tigner, a family friend, were coming home from church on Christmas Eve 1993 when their 1979 Chevy Malibu was rear-ended by a drunk driver. The Malibu's gas tank exploded. As the fire consumed the Malibu, the adults were able to escape, but the four children were trapped in the back of the car. Young Alicia Parker was the most gravely injured. Her burns were so severe that she lost the fingers of one hand and has undergone more than 70 surgeries. Damages included $107 million for pain, suffering, and disfigurement and $4.8 billion in punitive damages. The family's financial award was later reduced to $1.2 billion. Number 6. $4.69 billion Johnson & Johnson Talc Ovarian Cancer Case in Missouri. After decades of using Johnson & Johnson talc powder, women began developing ovarian cancer due to the asbestos found in the powder. In a Missouri court case, 22 women with ovarian cancer related to their years of talc powder use were awarded $500 million in damages and $4.69 billion in punitive damages. On June 23, 2020, the Missouri Court of Appeals cut the damages award from $4.69 billion to approximately $2.12 billion. Number 5. $2.2 billion Pharmacist Medical Malpractice in Kansas. In 2003, Robert Courtney, a Missouri pharmacist, admitted to the scam of diluting patients' chemotherapy, the Kansas court awarded the victim $578,881 in damages. The federal government collected the rest of the settlement as punitive damages for a victim's fund. Number 4. $2 billion Monsanto Roundup Case in California 
a California couple was awarded $2 billion from the manufacturers of the Roundup Weed Killer after developing cancer related to the use of the Roundup Weed Killer. The injured couple cited Bayer AG's failure to provide warnings about their glyphosate-based weed killer. The judgment was recently reduced to $86.7 million by a California judge in 2019. Number 3. $1.1 billion drunk driving accident case in North Dakota. On June 27, 2015 Jordan Morset was driving on the Bismarck Expressway in Mandan at a high speed in the wrong direction when his vehicle struck the victim's car. His blood alcohol content at the time was 0.295%, over three times the legal limit. The families of two fatally injured victims and the lone survivor of a drunk driving accident were awarded punitive and compensatory damages. Damages awarded to the surviving victim and to the surviving family of the other victims included more than $295 million in punitive damages. The driver also received a 25-year prison sentence. Number 2. $60 million train derailment case. Donald French, a former manager of a gas station in Manassas, Virginia, was injured at the business. Though he survived the incident, the victim was left with a life-altering traumatic brain injury. His settlement included $46 million in damages and $14 million in interest. Number 1. $38 million Hyundai Motors Company, in Wisconsin. After being paralyzed from the chest down in a low-speed, rear-end collision, Mr. Edward Vanderventer asserted that the 2013 Hyundai Elantra he was driving was responsible for his injuries and paralysis. Citing the design of his vehicle's headrest, the victim was awarded $32 million of the total $38 million from Hyundai. The case was appealed, but Mr. Vanderventer was successful on appeal. There you have it. 10 massive lawsuit verdicts in the United States. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.